In this video, I will show you how to carry out a model analysis of a test object with headacoustics. For carrying out a model analysis, the following items are always required. First of all, an impulse hammer, an acceleration sensor, a front end, here the Squidrigger 2, a computer with the team suite installed, and of course, an interesting object to be measured. We connect the impulse hammer to our front end. In this example, we use channel number 7. We also connect the accelerometer, stick it to a fixed point on our test object, and connect its output signal to channel number 8. We connect the front end to our computer via USB. and switch it on. Our measuring setup is ready. In our Timmy suite, we select the slider data acquisition and then the option impact measurement. In the first step, we start a project. By clicking the small arrow to the right, you automatically go to the next step. Here the documentation for the following measurement can be indicated. That's enough for this example. Arrow to the right to get to the next step. In this step, we are asked to select the coordinate system we wish to use for our test object. We select the Cartesian coordinate system with 10 excitation points for the whole object. I'm going to strike these excitation points only in one direction, the Z direction. A list of all excitation points to be measured for my test object is now automatically generated by Timmy Suite. We will select our front end and sensors in the next step. The Skrigger 2 has already been found and selected. We will use channel 7 and 8. The impact hammer is connected to channel 7. We will need a sensor library containing the sensor definitions. We can select a prepared library up here. There is no library. We could do this right now. Go to New and choose Sensor Library. Creating new sensor library is easy, we'll skip it for now. I will use my existing library. If the list is rather long, like this one, we can use the filter functions to get a better overview. Clicking on the hammer symbol will show me my hammer sensors only. I'm using the one with serial number 13907. Checking it will select it. Just checking whether it's working okay. I'm seeing an excitation on channel 7, so let's proceed with channel 8. This is a uniaxial sensor, so I'm choosing the corresponding view and search for my sensor. It's the one labeled 3079. There is a signal on this channel too, so both sensors seem to work correctly. We can close the sensor library now. One more quick overview. We connected one hammer and one accelerometer as a reference. We placed it on position 10 of the object, which can be defined here. Its orientation is minus z, which is given here. On to the next step. Now you are asked to strike your test object. Atomy Suite automatically determines the optimal analysis settings for your test object means of the single strikes. Sampling rate, block size, pre-trigger, ranges, threshold and the analysis windows are all adapted to your test object by an intelligent algorithm. Ah, we're already done. That was simple. It goes without saying that the analysis parameters can also be indicated specifically, just as you prefer. As for me, I'd like to keep sticking to the parameters determined by Team Suite. Let's start with the first excitation, shall we? The transfer functions are measured, averaged and saved for the first excitation point. In case an excitation point is difficult to measure, like this one, the user benefits the automatic quality control within our Team Suite. 
In case of a bad coherence of a double hit was detected, this excitation point is automatically rejected by the atmosphere. As soon as a sufficient number of good strikes have been achieved, we continue to the next excitation point. This fully automated process allows highly efficient work. While you're measuring, the first analysis results are already provided simultaneously. On the left side you see the time data, on the right side the coherence and the transfer functions. An individual analysis window can be shown full screen by one click. The great ease of use of Atimi Suite is already evident to you at this stage. You can zoom into the diagrams and select various cursors. Have you seen everything? Ok, then let's continue to measure. As soon as the last excitation point has been measured, you are automatically informed that all points are measured. In the last step we decide what to do with our analysis results. We can enter a data viewer and compare the individual measurement points to each other. Or we can send the results to a prepared report, which can be directly exported to PowerPoint. Or you can directly export your measurement data to Emiscope. In Emiscope, the test object can be represented as a 3D model. Your measurement data are simply adapted to the model. Now you can have the transfer functions animated. Just select the frequency ranges of interest by means of the mouse and see the vibrational form of your test object simultaneously. Here we have an in-phase vibration of the two bars and in a higher frequency range a first bending shape as a start of out of phase and a little bit higher in frequency an in phase vibration. Get a deep insight into your test object. Model analysis. Very easy. With head acoustics.